Hello, this is a video of the Robotech Collector's Edition that just recently released. I believe a couple of months ago by Funimation. And I bought the complete Blu-ray edition. Um, if you folks were around back in the 80s that watched this, or if you're not to the 80s, if you're not from the 80s, you owe it to yourself to go back and watch Robotech. That's what was kind of a staple of anime back in the day. Yeah, they had Yamato or Star Blazers. And they had Voltron. And of course, He-Man. Well, anyways, uh, Robotech was a very good episode. Carl Masek is a master at doing this kind of stuff. I say is, even though God rest his soul. Um, he's still, you know, one of the, I don't know how he did it, but he did it. He combined three different animes that had nothing really to do with each other and made Robotech. And that being said, um, back in 2005, I bought the Protoculture Collection. And way back in the early 2000s, give or take, I caught up on Robotech. And long story short, I heard there's a bitter war, or there was a bitter war between Harmony Gold and Big West Studio. And I feel so grateful for the judge who overturned the, the copyrights back to, or he dismissed the case or something like that and made it where Big West Studios and macross can go global that way if you're a robotech fan i guess this means the macross purist and the robotech fans can stop hating each other because now we got robotech which is miraculously resurrected by well i guess you can say resurrected by funimation but that must mean we might soon see macross that's an old dvd set so it's not in pristine condition i damaged it when I moved, um, but this was the complete Macross saga, and as you can see, this is the the untouched version, not that other one that was from I think a Harmony Gold ADV really. Or there are so many Macrosses that was tried to bring Harmony Gold had a hand in it, and it didn't come out. And uh, yeah, this one this one has the best details the best subtitles and it had different colored subtitles so it make it look like who's talking and who's not if i'm correct like i've seen red and blue white and yellow different subtitles depending on who's talking in the background and yeah hopefully funimation or shoji kawamori god bless us so i hope he gets what he deserves and goes global and re-release this or just give people another box chance to buy this box an original untouched dvd we deserve it i want another one yes i know you're gonna say pete what do you got to complete macros for why do you need it well in case of a tornado i'd like to know i have a backup oh wait never mind because if a tornado takes this one then no doubt my backup is gone but what i was going to say is this that you know shoji kawamori please you got your chance now. This is your moment, man. 30 years, Harmony Gold stopped you from going international and global. And now you got your chance. So, um, I wish I spoke Japanese because I would tell you in Japanese, Shoji Kawamori, go global. Please remaster Macross 30 for the PlayStation 3 and remaster it for PlayStation 4 or 5. I beg you. That was the best video game on playstation 3 it be out metal gear and that's practically impossible metal gear solid 4 that is but um am i a little obsessed with uh robotech nah that's jack archer right there um okay well back to robotech you know like i said i'm um this is something i got from 2009 comic con i think I got another one over there. This one's unopened. Um, 
Well, anyways, back to this. Uh, and if you guys saw these, I got three of these from a good friend I haven't heard from in a while. I heard he's not active on a website anymore. His name is Memo One Dominion. And they had a launch day celebration parade, or not parade, a launch day celebration party back in 2009. And I couldn't make it. I said I want to be on that guest list, and I had money at the time, but my boss wouldn't let me go. So Memo One Dominion um, arranged me to get some coins. And these are three. No, I'm not going to sell these if anybody begs, you know, I mean. There is no dollar amount because the friendship that went for him to send these to me all the way to Texas because I couldn't make it. And I still got these and two that are unopened from 2009. It's still in there. Yeah, I was just, I was just pointing that out. You know, That would have been a good thing if Robotech did something like that. But, um, well, back to the DVD collection. I'm so sorry for going rambling. Um, Not the DVD, Blu-ray. Now, before we get further, I saw some other YouTubers. A couple of them called out, ooh, it's grainy. It looks like grain. Well, um, if you're from the 80s and early 90s, or I guess late 70s, you will not mind grain because film is grain. There will be grain. So I don't know how to say it. Grain is not bad, especially in remasters because... When you take a film and you try to coat it over with anti-noise reduction and anti-grain, I heard it can actually reverse affect some of the good aspects of the film that's there. If they actually went with the original film reels and see grain, appreciate that. Because I don't have the DVD, or oh, I'm sorry, I keep saying DVD. I don't have the Blu-ray in hand of Flash Gordon from a different... Uh, Blu-ray type of people, I forgot their name, but they remastered The Last Starfighter and Flash Gordon. Ah, okay, never mind. And there was some green, but what I liked about it was they cleaned it up and did everything they could, but left everything original at the same time from the original film. And I'm assuming that's what Funimation or whoever they did it, did it with this, because I'm not going to lie, Harmony Gold was so I guess so desperate for money is they kept re-releasing the Robotech editions. Like I heard after the Protoculture Saga, they re-released three different types of collections. I think one from A&E, and I forgot what the other two were from. Then they actually tried to dip into this, <clears throat> and they made a different type of Macross using their rights to chokehold Shoji Kawamori took his baby and sold it and made the money all for themselves. But it kind of flopped because no offense to Vic McNogna, he's an awesome Broly, but he was not a good Rick Hunter or Hikaru. And no offense to Mary Ejima, but they should have brought back Reba West to make Minmei again in the Macross English version because you know, they kept everything, they translated everything to, and it didn't work out, and anyways, well, anyways, but let's get to this, I'm sorry folks, this is supposed to be the Blu-ray DVD reopening, okay, so please remember folks, I'm going to put it in the title, if you already read it, grain is not necessarily a bad thing when it comes to remasters, okay, that opened pretty well. Wow. I'm not going to show the back because if you never watched Robotech, I heard there's a spoiler on it. So, quick disclaimer, Roy Folker is a good character. He's one of the most likable ones in the game. And this one has battle damage. <gasps> no, Toy Dami made it. Oh God, no! <laughs> why, to why, Funimation? Why did you use Toy Dami, man? It's gonna be worthless because the joints fall off. A lot of stuff are never included, complete in the box. Oh man, Toy Dami, uh, uh, Funimation, did you not do your homework about what happened with the Maya Sterling release and the other versions? 
where, oh God, I don't want to get hit with slander, but I want to say this. This ain't slander, it's a proven fact, if I'm correct. Toinami, the shoulders fall out on their recent Comic-Con and remake versions of this. Yeah, you try to transform it or pose it, clink, the shoulders leap, fall out. Or other little doodads break off. And somebody opened this on another YouTube channel. I forgot his name, but shout out to him if he sees this. That the feet, you don't see the feet here, but their, well, toes, I guess, are reversed. They're on the wrong foot. Oh, no. 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 Why? Why Funimation? Why Funimation? Oh, heck. Nah. Blech. Blech. I'm just going to toss that aside. It's, it's toying on me, so I think the bum down the street would throw it back at me if I gave it to him. They had a good toy on me. <gasps> Ooh. Pretty. This box has the patches. Um, what is that? <laughs> There's nothing. God darn it. I Oh, beautiful. Yeah, that one. Um, I'm, I'll tell you what. I'm going to... All right. They finally gave some... Oh, that, I, they did it. All right. That's so... i never seen that, I don't think, on any Blu-ray or DVD collection of Robotech. Roy Foker and Claudia Grant. You know, you guys are going to love the... You know, she was... They were a cute couple, you know. Um, all right, I'm going to tell you what. Um... Uh, I thought this was a little doodad, but it. And I just devalued my box set because it fell off the table here. It's okay. Because it's still in the wrapping. I dropped it. Ooh. And who cares about a, a toy army? Well, folks, I'm going to see if I can pause this video and start out a DVD set. I, don't, I wasn't not going to do it, but I'm bored. Um, I'm going to see if I can handhold my new camera and see what the grain hype is about. Like I said, I don't have no capture card like you YouTube stars or you kids who play video games. But, oh, speaking of video games, Funimation... If you watch this, since you got the rights to Robotech, you're making shirts and toys and stuff now. Please, for the love of Talos, use your rights to contact the video game company, if they still exist, who made Robotech Battle Cry for the PlayStation 2 back in the day, Xbox, and GameCube. They, that was an awesome video game back in the day. Um, it was based on this character, Jack Archer. In other words, he did his thing while Robotech, while whatever, whatever was happening in the Macross saga, he was like staying behind and trying to fight the war that was still going on Earth between Zentradis. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you know what the heck, you know. And like I said, once again, shot, Memo One Dominion. Will, I'll call him Will because... Well, I've never really called him that, but we used to talk a lot on the phone. I used to be a member at his game at his uh, websites, but I forgot my password because I've been so long without a PC. But uh, yeah, that's what I, you know, that's one thing that this is an actual what they call a challenge coin, military grade, and how they put detail in the SDF one. Toynami would have done uh, Toynami. Uh, 
uh, Funimation would have done good by doing this. And the reason why I was kind of yelling out and old is I've been carrying this since 2009 in my pocket everywhere I go. And these two, I don't know why, but I bought two more. One as a backup and one I was going to give to, but um, it didn't work out. That person, uh, anyway, well, I got three of them now. But, okay, what the heck. I want to see if I can pause this video and put in the first blue rig. And, oh, wait a minute. I'm sure somebody who watches this, like I said, other YouTubers do it. I'm not trying to steal their thunder at all. But I think I'll see if I can show off the patches here real quick for you folks. Um, they're in a plastic bag, I heard, but... Oh yeah, they're all in a plastic bag here. Hold on. yeah, but um, well, let's see. It has. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Here is the uh, one of the patches of Lin Min May. I want you for the UN Spacey. This one is. Flat out neat. I can just probably, if I ever get an iron, around, or if I learn to sew, I can find out what to put that on. That would, that I know that would last a very long time at least. Or sew it on to a point where I could just pop it off and put it on a new jacket or whatever. Um, the old kite. Robotech Defense Force, United Earth Government. These feel like good quality patches. I mean, it's not something dirt cheap that they did not like they no I don't want to say names right now and Roy Fokers Skull Squadron wow okay all right now I'm going to pause again and uh in case you guys stopped watching I know it's a long video but uh thank you for watching thumbs up like and subscribe Funimation, please get the petition to, or consider finding a way to get the video game rights to Battle Cry. And uh, make remake that game for PS4 or PS5 and other consoles. Um, donate to my channel by being nice to others. And uh, if I accidentally stop to film in advance, I gotta stop to record it and go do something, but... Um, I'll wait until I probably ever, if I ever get a capture card, but there are other YouTubers out there that already did a side-by-side -side comparison, but remember folks, grain is not bad. Grain was just meant to show that it's film. I can't describe it. It's like one of those necessary evils, I guess you could say. Not even evil. It just shows that, hey, it is a blast from the past. Enjoy it, you know, but uh, donate to my channel by being nice to others. I'm helping them with five bucks to gasoline. Like and subscribe or dislike. It's your prerogative. Pray for folks in Kentucky and all over the world. Be safe and take your time on the roads during this holiday season. Bye-bye.